Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the 23rd session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held. The president of Artsakh received the responsible people of the organization, SOS East Christians, treasures of Artsakh, Van Kassar. It is bad that the voice of Artsakh is not heard at a separate party in discussions on different platforms. Ombudsman of Artsakh, a number of their sim residents want to return to their villages that were down in 1994. Interview with the chairman of National Union of Yazidis of Armenia, Khadr Hajoyan, weightlifter Rafik Harutunyan, European champion. The premiere of the film Hidden Map will take place in hundreds of US cities. On June 1st, the 23rd session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held, which was attended by 13 deputies. The issues on the agenda were discussed, presentation, reading and discussion on a draft law. And I speaker Nelly Harutunyan summed up the result of the session on May 28th. During the discussions, Western Armenia deputy Pablo Tailanyan, presenting Uruguay, made a speech who presented a preliminary version of his culture program, which was discussed by the National Assembly and the government. Summing up the meeting, President of Western Armenia, Armena Gabramian, also made a speech. In the end, the deputies adopted the agenda for the next meeting. On June 1st, President of Republic of Artsakh, Aray Karutunyan, received the people of the organization SOS East Christians. According to the presidential administration, the head of the state was presented with the readiness of the organization to fully finance humanitarian programs carried out in Artsakh, in particular major repairs of Hayortat House at the Artsakh Diocese of the Armenian Apostolic Church in the city of Martakert, as well as they implement a number of socio-economic programs in rural communities. The President the President of Republic of Artsakh welcomed the initiative of the organization and noted that such programs greatly contribute to a faster overcoming of the difficulties after the post-war situation. The monastery built in 6th and 7th centuries is located on a Martakert Stepanakert road of Artsakh on the rock of Van Kassar. The capital Tigranakert is 200 meters from the church. All the stones of the monastery church bear the signs of masters in the form of Armenian letters. Nothing was done to preserve and restore this medieval appearance. Moreover, the church of Van Kassar in the 18th of the last century suffered serious losses during the so-called Azerbaijan restoration. And this is only in order to separate the territory from the environment. Environment. Where once a building was built around the church, they did not correspond to the spiritual and cultural environment. The territory was built up for buildings for entertainment. They are damaged in Artsakh war and turned into ruins. In an interview with journalist Artsakh Human Rights Defender Geram Stepanyan said, even if there is a lack of courage at the European level to specifically state that we are talking about the people of Nagorno-Karabakh and Nagorno-Karabakh, then among the people of Artsakh this distrust should arise around these negotiations. The people of Artsakh are not the ethnic Armenian population of Karabakh, but the state people of the Republic of Artsakh. The people who created the state in 1991 declared independence and are carrying out it, yes, we are in favor of comprehensive solution to the conflict, and this solution should recognize the right of the people of Artsakh to self-determination. In the negotiations of different times, the Armenian time has always made guided by the principle of the comprehensive settlement, and today it is acceptable for us. According to governor's report in November 1997, in 1994 in parallel with the declaration of the state of emergency, 183 villages, 823 rural settlements were excavated in their seam. 41,939 people were deported. In fact, the goal of the Turkish state was to devastate the Dersim district by burning villages. People were left homeless, then a difficult process began. The president of the Association of Social and Culture Policy, Merjan Valley, Selvi Charisi, spoke as follows about the excavation of their village in 1994 and a desire to return to the village. The Association of the Social and Culture, Merjan Valley, was established in Kastadnapol in 2004. By the forces of our union, we brought our fellow villagers from Kastadnapol and pitched tents at a time when, for or five years, people were not allowed to enter the Merjan Valley. To encourage the return of people and remove obstacles, a festival was organized. There are serious experimental problems in their seam. In order to close the illegally built Merjan hydroelectric power plant, every use water for irrigation of our territory, we are organizing a festival this year. We want everyone to return to their hometown and develop their economy. If we manage to do this, we will be able to unite against mining and forest fires. 
the chairman of National Union of Yazidis of Republic of Armenia, Khadr Hajoyan, in an interview with the Radio News Channel, spoke about the culture and daily life of Yazidis living in Armenia. In particular, he noted that the Yazidis deported to Armenia during the Ottoman Empire have preserved their shrines and traditions to these days. In a 2011 consensus, 35,000 Yazidis lived in Armenia, of which in 11 years their number reached 40,000, which is confirmed by prominent leaders of Yazidi community. The Republic of Armenia Armenia gives us many opportunities. For example, we have a Yazidi newspaper and a radio. Our children study in schools in 60 villages and cities, receiving up to 12th grade science about the history and literature of the Yazidis. Touching upon the relations between the Yazidis of Shengal and Armenia, Khadr Hajayan noted, after the genocide of Yazidis, the bridge between the Yazidis from Armenia and Shengal becomes stronger. Our relations are ties and strengthening every day. Members of the Armenian national weightlifting team started fighting at the European Championship. This year, the European weightlifting championships for men and women are being held in Tirana, the capital of Albania. Karen Markan and Rafi Karutunyan were the first to enter the fight as part of Armenian men's team. Rafi Karutunyan became the European champion with a result of 354 kilograms. Western Armenia congratulates the Armenian athlete and wishes him new victories. There are days left before the public broadcast of the premiere of Ani Hovanisyan's film, The Hidden Map. The film tells about the story of Armenia. The documentary film will be broadcast nearly 1,000 times from June 5 to 13, 2022, mostly in Boston, Massachusetts to Juneau and Alaska. The film Hidden Map takes viewers to the homeland of ancestors of the Armenians, during which a chance meeting of American granddaughter Armenian survivors of genocide of Armenians and Scottish intelligence officer in the territory of current Turkish state turned into an adventure, as a result of which they revealed the hidden map. The film Hidden Map has received more than a dozen international awards, as well as the Prime Time Emmy Awards in 2021. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.